Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Friday once again. And <laughs> I have someone creeping up. Okay, come in here. I have something for you. I always give the dogs a treat before I go live. And uh, one of them was missing. And now he shows up like, hey, mama, <laughs> you gave the other two a treat. Where's my treat? Now he's gone. Oh, it has been a very cold week here. I am sure it's been a very cold week where you are. Um, once again, my kids got to miss school. You know, when I was a kid, an, a nice day, a snow day here in South Texas was extremely rare. I mean, like maybe once in elementary school, maybe once in high school, and then that was it, like rare. They would not cancel school till the morning, you know, like they had to be sure. Now, man, I feel like they are canceling school right and left. <laughs> I don't know why I am somewhat concerned that they are missing so much school. My freshman needs to work on that GPA. <laughs> it's very good, but you know, hello, let's go to school. Anyhow, they have been home for two days. It was icy here, very, very icy. No snow, just really cold and icy. It's now all melted, the sun is out and it's beautiful outside. So hopefully you guys, where you are, I know many of you probably have some super like sub-zero temperatures. I saw a friend of mine, let's see, I'm gonna share this over while I'm talking if I can do two things at once. A friend of mine up in Minnesota shared it was like negative 30 or something. How does, how does, how does life function in that temperature, you guys? I know some of you are up there. Um, do your cars run in that? Like my, I think my house would just <laughs> stop functioning. That just seems just unheard of. Okay, let's see, I'm sharing this over, do, do, do. Okay, got it. Um, my husband was actually in Colorado um, for a business trip and it was super cold. There was negative and there was snow and he got to go extreme sledding. None of that fun down here. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. Today, I have new, my table is so full that I can't even set my iPad down. Um, today, I'm showing you brand new products. Um, we have ta I've talked about this leading up, um, Stampin' Up! from time to time releases products that are not in the catalog. Um, this was kind of a surprise to me. I didn't expect something new um, right when the new catalog came out, but this is new. And it's a bundle, here are the dies and the stamps called Here Together. These are not carrying over. These will only be available through May 2nd. Um, to go along with that, there's a pack of paper also that we're gonna use a bunch of it today, okay? Um, and you'll notice lots of hands, right? Well, that's because we've got all these new Stampin' Blends. I love them. I have been playing with them. I went to my mom's house and got a coloring lesson from her. Um, we have a chart that looks like this that I will link you guys to. Um, so you can blend and see how they blend together. It's really cool. So now I feel pretty certain that we have every skin tone covered because for a long time we have not, and now we do. So we're gonna play with all of that today. The blends will be in the new annual catalog that comes out in May. But for right now, <laughs> I still have somebody looking at, one has come back, he wants a second treat. No, you're not getting the second treat. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I have no idea. Anyhow, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna play with the blends, we're gonna play um, with the paper, and we're gonna play with the dyes that are really, really good. So that is that. Um, today when I'm done, you know what? Has anybody checked my blog post to see if it was up? I meant to do that before. My blog's been doing something really weird and I don't know, I need to ask the guy who, the guy who's helped me with my blog, you know, he's like maintaining and stuff. Um, there was a post this week that I scheduled. It went live, I saw it, worked, but then when I shared the link for you guys, it y'all were saying it didn't work, and it worked for me, and then it worked for me, and then I tried it on my phone, it didn't work, so I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if it's when I schedule a post or what, but if somebody would just go over there and let me know if the post is up. I didn't link this on the post today and I meant to. I will give you guys this, those of you who like this kind of stuff. Um, I will link it today in the video um, links when I'm done, a whole bunch of links up at the top for you as well, okay? So these products, you will not see them currently in a catalog. Um, they are online only, okay? Today's 
PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com has the item numbers and the prices and everything that you need um, so that you can print this off. It's free. Uh, print this off and use that to put in your order if you want to um, order any of them. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> My hair looks nice. Wow, you guys. I need to see you every day. Thank you. The sweater, I don't know how long it's been since I've worn the sweater. You know, we only get like maybe two maybe three sweater days a year around here. And I have like eight sweaters. So they don't all get worn each year. <laughs> but this day I pulled out a pink sweater. Okay, um, before I turn the camera around, let me just show you a couple cards that I got this week. Um, I am loving all the little surprise cards. This is from Lisa. Look at that. Boop, boop. What do you call that? A double Z fold card. Very cool, Lisa. I love the rainbow. I don't think I will ever tire of that rainbow. And I really hope that it carries over into the new catalog. I wish this paper would carry over too. Very pretty. Thank you, Lisa. This one is super, super cute from Donna. Donna, you know me. Look, pink and black. Today, One of today's cards is pink and black. Um, let's see. It is a cute little robot. Look how she put the little gem up at the top. I should have thought of that. So cute. Love it. So, so, so cute. Good, Carla. Thank you. The post is up. Good. This one, who is this from? Oh, did I show you guys this last week? I feel like maybe I did. Christy, she is one of my downline and she just promoted to Silver Elite, which is a big deal. And I sent her a special gift and look at this card she made for me. Oh, that is gorgeous. She used like the sparkly paper for the rainbow. I would never have thought of that. You know, you can color the sparkle paper with your blends too. You have to be careful because it kind of roughens up the tips of your blends. Um, but that would be cool too on that. Hmm. And we have the rainbow sparkle paper too. So you wouldn't even need to do that. And then look at this. And Margaret, she's in my downline and she is an amazing card maker. Everything she makes, I just was commenting on some of her cards today. Everything she makes is gorgeous. Look how lovely she colored that robot. Really, really good. And she made a little frame and that beautiful rainbow paper. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's turn this around. If I can make some room, let's see, I'm going to, I need to be able to see this and that and bloop, 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 bloop. who knows. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move you guys down, um, switch you around. Yes, Christy promoted to Silver Elite and she worked very hard for that promotion. That is a really hard promotion to earn um, and she worked really, really hard for it. So I'm really proud of her too. Okay, let's talk about, I've got like a hodgepodge of things to tell you about. Here's my current class to go. And I love this class, you guys. I love this class. Flowering Rain Boots is the featured bundle. Um, each, you also need the, um, I, I always hesitate with the name of this. I can't ever remember it. Butterflies and Flowers Layering Masks. Five of the six uh, projects use the masks. This is a to-go class shipped right to you. There's no online meeting time. I send you a PDF. Um, this one has a video showing you how to use the masks. Let me get my iPad set up. I feel suddenly blind because I can't see your comments. Um, let's see, comments, come on, show me. There we go. Um, the class to-go, you can get it with the bundle without the bundle, depending on if you have it or not. Um, both both options will include the polished dots and the ribbon. You can add on the masks. Um, if you buy the option that has the bundle, you're getting this ribbon uh, for free, which is $9 value. New shipping, I'm doing $6 shipping, which means it's first class rather than priority. It may take a couple extra days to get to you, but it's saving you $3 and it's saving us um, the, you know, the thing with priority mail is they promise to insure the package. Every time I have tried to claim an insurance claim, they deny it every time. So I'm going to stop giving them that extra $3 for that insurance. Cause that's why I was doing priority. Um, anyhow, $6 shipping. Also the PDF that includes the link to the video is in my PDF store. That's $15. Um, option one, I, I wrote on here too, to remind myself, you get a celebration pick if you pick option one because it's $77. Option two is $39. PDF is 15 and my team gets the make and take packet for $22. It's a perk for joining my team. All right. So the deadline on that, we've still got a lot of time, February 18th. Okay. That's February's class to go. I also 
just finished March's class and oh my God, I cannot wait to show you guys. Cannot wait. Let's talk about Club Create. Club Create is my subscription kit. It um, ships around the 21st of every month. It is $39. It includes about $20 in product. You get like a, a you know, brand new bolt of ribbon, a pack of um, embellishments, usually either a half or a quarter pack of designer series paper, and five projects. And those five projects come with a PDF and about a 40 minute video every month. Um, you get the option to add on the bundle that we're using. And let me see what else. Um, shipping is included in the $39. This month, is Tulip Fields, this one right here, which I am a little bit obsessed with. It is so stinking cute. Um, the deadline for this is Monday the 7th. So if you subscribe today, tomorrow, Sunday, or Monday, this will be your first kit, okay? The cutoff, strict cutoff is Monday. You can't email me on Tuesday and say, I wanna subscribe, too late. Um, I've already started cutting on some of this, but um, I have a hard deadline on this because of the way PayPal has a subscription set up. So that, if you have not signed up, oh yeah, in this cute little windmill that has been beaten up in the basket, but looks super cute. And it's got a little Dutch treat in there. Um, deadline Monday, okay? So this is the last time I'm going to show you this. I'm not even going to put it back in the cabinet. I'm going to put it over there so I can start really cutting all the pieces for it. Now, the next... Club Create kit is also finished. It's the Your Biggest Fan. And some of you are saying, oh, I don't, mm, you guys, this is cute. I don't really have a whole lot of guys in my life either. I got three girls, of course my husband, but this is so fun for kids. Um, it doesn't have to be masculine. I don't think my daughters play softball. You know, this is just a fun theme, kind of like take me out to the ball game. This um, Club Create will feature Four cards, one of which is a big old fancy fold um, gift card holder. And then of course, like a treat box kind of looks like a popcorn box. Um, now this, don't sign up for Club Create if you're not a subscriber already. You have to wait until Tuesday. Subscription opens up on Tuesday for this. If you're a current subscriber, you don't have to do anything, okay? As long as you're subscribed, you're gonna continue to get charged on the day that you've signed up. So let's say you signed up on the 18th. Well, every month on the 18th, it will charge you for the next month. Um, so you don't have to worry about it, but this is March. I love, love it. I think you guys will love it too. Um, the PDF and the video will be available beginning Tuesday, I believe. My PDF is at the proofreader. Hopefully um, we'll get it back by then. If not, it'll be Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? All right, so don't sign up until Tuesday for that. If you're a current subscriber, you're good. You don't have to do anything. Ugh, I can't, Michelle, it is really cute. It, it's really, really, really cute. Okay, paper pumpkin, Valentine's paper pumpkin. I have, I have a lot of these. <laughs> if you need a Valentine paper pumpkin, please let me know. I will get it to you ASAP. Um, and, and if it doesn't arrive in time for this year, you'll have it for next year. But you know what? Um, I think you could just use them. They're not necessarily, they don't necessarily have to be Valentine cards. They're just really sweet um, fold out cards. They come with a stamp set and a spot. Um, there are boxes that you can add on if you're a subscriber. Um, you can let me know if you buy one of these and you want the boxes, we can, we can figure that out. Um, but please email me because I have a lot of these and um, I, <laughs> I would like to sell them. All right, all right. Now, let's talk about, oh, the new um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle. So the All-Star Tutorial Bundle is 12 of us, 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all over the world, Australia, Canada, Europe, UK, all of that. Um, we all come together once a month, and we design, we each design a different project to go, oh, that one's gorgeous, to go with um, one suite in the catalog. And this month, it's the Artfully Composed Artfully composed, I don't know, yeah, artfully composed. For, you guys know how sometimes names, I can't remember the names. This is the one, this is one of them. I actually designed the Abstract Beauty Project that I thought was this month and because I was confused by the names. So now I have next month's left, next month's ready also. But um, this month it is the art artfully composed and my project is a little boozy treat, a boozy summer treat, a little, um, 
little rum, little suntan lotion. Wouldn't that be fun to give to somebody around the summer as a little, little, just a little treat, happy birthday treat. So the tutorial is in here. They're all videos. Each page has a link that you click. Um, let me find one of them. Each page has a, a link that you click, it takes you to each video. It has all the measurements, both imperial and metric, and of course the supply list. Um, you will get this for free if you spend $50 with me online. Um, I send them out about once a week. You can also buy it in my PDF store for $15. Maybe you are a demonstrator um, and you want some ideas. This is a great resource for that. Um, maybe you have a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me. You can just buy the PDF. Uh, the third option is my team. They get all my PDFs for free. You should see the list of PDFs over on our team page. It's like miles long. I've been doing this for years and there are so many PDFs. Um, they get them for free. So if you join my team, that's another thing you get for free. All right, so there's that. <coughs> I'm gonna leave that over here so that I can email them out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys something. Look at the sneak peek. I'm gonna show you that in a second, okay? The starter kit bundle. I've been telling you about the starter kit bundle during celebration. Why can't I ever remember to pull out the celebration catalog ahead of time? Celebration. We only have what, like three weeks left of celebration? One, two, three. Wow, it goes by fast. Three weeks. It goes till February 28th. During celebration, you can read the details right here on the last page. You can get the starter kit for $99. You pick out $125 in product. Anything you want um, from the annual from the spring or from the clearance rack, and then you get to add on two additional stamp sets. So I created kind of a sample kit here using what we're using today. This doesn't have to be what you buy in your starter kit, but I thought you'd like to see kind of what you get for your money, $99 and the shipping is free. So I put together the Here Together bundle, which we're using today, all of the new Stampin' Blends. There's six pair, there's 12, right? Or are there five? Do I have double in here? Is that a double? No, there's, there's 12. One, two, three, four. I should know this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh, hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. But those don't look like doubles. Oh, look, there are doubles. Okay, rewind. You get <laughs> all 10 of the new Stampin' Blends. Um, seriously, this, all of this together is $110 or $105, okay? So you get that, then you have $20 to spend. I added in another stamp set, and then you can add in two more stamp sets. Of course, go for the most expensive ones on your wish list. And then that is $99. So if you love all of this, that could be an idea for you, okay? Um, there's a lot of other benefits to the starter kit, of course, being on my team. Um, this, All of this is listed on the join page. I'll list it here in the links when we're done today, but you can click the join tab at the top of my blog. Um, for the full details. My team, um, being part of my team, you get my PDFs for free, my class kits at a discount. We have monthly meetings, monthly swaps, um, monthly creative challenges. Right now we're having weekly creative challenges with prizes, um, quarterly training online that we do. It's called Creative Convention. Lots of fun things. All right, so that's that. But I want to show you another option. I don't like to show you guys stuff that's not available right now. You know, as a demonstrator, one of the perks is you get to pre-order. Um, so I pre-ordered this. This is coming out next month for everybody. But I I just have to show you. I just have to show you how absolutely gorgeous this is. Um, this is called the Commotion in the Ocean, I believe. Promotion is what they're calling it. No, it's called Waves of the Ocean. This is called Waves of Inspiration. This is something you can get in your starter kit now. So it's only available to demonstrators to order right now. The other way to get it is to add it to your starter kit in February. So this would be an option. There's um, a pack of rhinestones and a pack of, let me pull it out, foil paper that coordinates with it. This is, I am featuring this paper um, in next month's class, but you just have to look at this. Super funny yesterday when it was icy and cold and my kids were here and we were all in our pajamas. I was like, you know what, today I am gonna, I'm just gonna stamp all day with this ocean stuff. And it was so fun. My girls, both of them at different times walked in and said, oh my God, did you make that paper? <laughs> and I was like, I wish. It's, um, 
you know how they do that pour where they layer the ink and then they like lift it up and it pours or something like that. That's how this was done by one of the Stampin' Up! artists. There's a video that's gonna come out showing us how it's made, but look at this paper. If you've ever been to the Caribbean, or um, I would also say the, the Mediterranean, this is what the water looks like. So gorgeous. I don't know if Brandy's here. She posted a picture today that I said looked like Key West. The, oh, look. I mean, the detail. It really, the the way it translates on paper, you want to feel it. It's like it it has texture. Um, it doesn't, but it looks like it. This I think this is my favorite, favorite one. Um, so this is just a, a 12 by 12 pack of paper. It'll be $11.50 next month, but right now, again, you can add it to your starter kit. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I know somebody's going to email me and say, How can, where can I order that paper? I don't see it online. It's not available yet, okay? <laughs> I don't like to, to show you guys things that you can't order because it's frustrating, but I do. I just couldn't wait, and I wanted you to know that this is something that you can get in a starter kit right now. Okay, um, we'll be using it. You'll see next month's um, class is gorgeous. I didn't use the stamp set for the class. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've still got a little bit of a cough. Um, I'm using, um, what's the ocean one in the spring catalog called? Um, Seize the Day. It's so cute and it goes really well with this paper. Um, I don't know if Sam's on here too. My downline Sam lives down at the coast and she said, oh great, I, I, just what I needed, more ocean stuff. Haha, <laughs> like she had ordered it because she was, you know, she loved it and she has lots of ocean stuff. But in my mind, you can never have too much ocean stuff, especially when it is this absolute gorgeousness. This will be another out of publication, the paper, the foil, the, the rhinestones, I believe, are out of publication. Won't be in the catalog, but I believe... You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I only half listen to these things. Um, I believe this will be carrying over. This wave is so, so cool. I signed up for a swap today um, with some leaders that are all going to make a sample card using this stuff. I cannot wait. So I'm going to have 20 ideas to show you. Okay, so that is that. Um, you will have the opportunity to order it next month. If you don't want to buy the starter kit, I get it. That's fine. But you'll have the opportunity next month to order it, okay? Okay. How long did I talk? Ooh, I went long today. Okay. My husband went to work for a few hours. I said, do not come home before 3 o'clock, 3.15. <laughs> and my older daughter is driving home. I said, do not come home before 3.15. So we have to be done by 3.15. Prizes. I got two prizes for this week. Joyce. Let her be Joyce. I have your mailing address, right? Unless you've moved. Kelly Brislin. Look how horrible my handwriting is. Kelly Brislin, I do not have your mailing address, I don't believe. Um, they both won the Mischief Mice host stamp set. So <laughs> cute. Um, Kelly, email me your address. Joyce, uh, you don't need to email me. I'll get that to you. Unless, Joyce, you've moved. And I saw that you were on here, Joyce. Um, I will get that out to you. Thank you for sharing my video. As I tell you guys every week, sharing um, video helps us. Anybody who's doing a video helps that person find new customers. So I, I appreciate it. This week, I've got Easter friends. And look, my case is broken, but don't worry. I have replacement cases. How cute. This is coming up. I'm not going to do an Easter class this year. I decided we're going to do Easter Facebook Live. Um, so this will be coming up in March. Easter is kind of late this year again in April. So cute. So if you'd like to win this, um, share the video on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know that you shared, and I will put you in the drawing to win. All right, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick one product, which this week it's the new Here Together collection. Um, I create three projects with it. There is a free PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com um, under the last photo. It has all the measurements and supplies as well as the things that I talked about. So if I confused you with Club Create, you can look here, the link is here, Flowering Rain Boots class. Um, there's a link here for that details on that and the all-star tutorial bundle bundle artfully composed. There's a link there. Starter kit link. There. Okay. 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 Oh, also <laughs> there's another part to that. There's a host code up here. If you would like today's projects for free, I send them as a thank you to anybody who puts in an order between now and Monday at midnight. Um, please use this host code. Um, this host code tells me that you want the projects. If you put in an order and you don't want the projects, don't use the host code. That's how I decide who gets the projects. I go down the list of who used the host code. 
There's one caveat to that. If your order is over $150, which hello, we all know that's really easy to do, do not use that host code because then Stampin' Up's gonna say, hey, you've earned free Stampin' Rewards. You're gonna get some free stuff and I will still send you the make and takes for free, okay? This is what they look like when they come. Here's the robot one. I hate when they, I hate when I can't fit it in a small <laughs> bag, um, but that was that long and skinny box last week. Um, you'll need the stamps and dies that I used today. Um, I also don't do any of the embossing um, folder. We used embossing folder once today, but everything else I'll send you. Um, embellishments, die cut, things, that sort of thing. All right, we are ready to go. Let's get started. How many of you have ordered this here together bundle? I was just really excited. I love Stampin' Blends. You know, you don't have to be an artist to use Stampin' Blends, you guys. Um, I am not an artist, but it makes me look like I am. So you don't have to be an artist. You can play around with these. You can watch videos. It's very easy to learn. They are very, very forgiving. So to have these new skin tones is really fun. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Rainbow of Happiness. Look, it's making a comeback today. This card is was inspired by my friend Kay. She's a demonstrator in Little Rock, Arkansas. She's one of my oldest demonstrator friends. We met on a incentive trip many, many years ago, and we've stayed really good friends. She posted a card on Martin Luther King Day with a rainbow that she had used the Stampin' Blends to color the new blends, and I loved it. So I was like, Kay, sorry, I've got to, I've got to take that idea and run with it. So that's what we're going to do today. And you can see, um, depending on which blend you use, is going to tell you know. The colors are going to be different. So let's get started on that. Um, we are going, let's do, let's do, what should we do first? Let's do our coloring first. That means we're going to have to cut out our rainbow. Um, this rainbow right here, this large rainbow, we're going to cut it out of basic white. Let me bring my cut and emboss machine over. You guys, oh wait, no, before we do that, Let's do the hands so that we can do all the cutting at once, okay? You guys, when I bring my cutting embossing, my cut and emboss machine over, you need to ooh and ah over my brand new plates, okay? <laughs> brand new plates. The problem with brand new plates is that they don't stay brand new for very long. I got, this paper's almost not big enough. Um, I'm trying to have just special Facebook Live plates. I'm gonna put them away when we're done today. And then they'll be clean, hopefully, for a while. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Now, I don't know how to choose what color to use, so I'm just going to randomly choose a color. Now, these guys don't have um, names, although on the package, when you get the package, and I didn't realize this when I first got mine, there's um, a name right here, medium light. But to me, that doesn't really tell me anything. They um, are numbered from 100 to 1000. So I got my label maker and just labeled them. Honestly, the only thing that does for me is if I want to make sure I know what color I used, I would write it down 600, you know? So anyhow, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. You know what happens when I do this? I always kind of mess it up. Let's see, come on. No, you're not gonna zoom in today for me? Nope, not gonna do it. Okay, well, sorry. Um, there are clean recordings of this video on YouTube and it is zoomed in if you want to get a closer look of how I'm coloring. Um, I'm using the brush end of this marker. One thing here for this one, you need to go down a little bit further than the black line because the die cuts it out um, pretty, a little bit further than the line. All right, now Charlie, really? Okay, good, he went outside. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna leave, cause the top of the, the hand would be lighter. Um, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white line there at the top like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on, Facebook, I can't see. I'm gonna leave it like that. You can use other colors to add in some shadow, but what my mom and I found is that it was just best to layer on the same color. Um, I'm kind of doing a shadow around here and down like that. And then you want to put just kind of a curve right there where the wrist would be. Then take your color lifter and just kind of blend those colors together. It's going to lighten up up there and it's going to smooth out that line. 
and it's just going to look lighter on the top, okay? And one other word of caution that I found, see, I did a little bit too much. I'm going to go back and add a little bit. Um, one thing that I found, see, I do this. I add too much color, um, was that when you add too much color, mm, okay, stop. I'm going to stop. When you add too <laughs> <laughs> when you add too much color, it will start bleeding out of the line, okay? So don't add so much that it starts to bleed out, like right here. I can see I added too much color. Um, another thing I have found is that the thick, let's see how dark this color is. That one's pretty dark. Let's see how dark this one is. I want to be able to do some shading so you guys can see it. Let's do this one. Um, I have found that my blends and my ink um, for this behave better on thick basic white. Um, your regular white will work okay, but um, I just think it does way better on the thick basic white. Now, you might want to disagree with me and that's fine. <laughs> if you want to disagree with me, I don't care, that's fine, but that's just my preference. And I know even that I, and this is my opinion, I think our white, I think different batches sometimes are a little bit different. I, I don't know, like sometimes I get white and I'm like, this, this is a little bit different than last time. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like that happens. But the thick is consistently good here with the Stampin' Blends coloring, okay? I didn't do a very good job today. I didn't. Let's see, I'm going to add a little more shadow. See, I just, I, I, I don't know when to stop. That's my problem. All right, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave it like that. All right, now we've got the matching dies, which, holla. Um, Michelle, which paper are you asking about? You didn't know you could get the paper separately? Are you talking about the black and white paper? You can get that separately, yes. I ordered a bunch of it actually, because I'm using it. We're using it today. I'm using it in my team meeting. It's really good. Okay, everybody, ooh and ah, look. Uh, it's like the angels were singing, except, let's turn that, oh no, that's dirty too. <laughs> oh well, whatever. That's like my house, like part of it's clean and then the other part's not. And then the other part gets clean, and then the first part dirty again. All right, we're gonna put those on here. And you know what? I'm gonna use a little bit of my um, post-it tape to hold this in place. Now, the these pieces, we've got two pieces of basic white. Thank you for ooing and awing. Thank you, I can hear you all. Um, they're the same size, okay? We're gonna cut the rainbow out from one of them. Like this. Oh, 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 I should tape that one down too, apparently. There we go. Very carefully. Run that through. And now they're not so perfect anymore, but they're still good. All right, there are our hands. Um, let's see, and our rainbow is like that. And we're gonna color these with our Stampin' Blends. So fun. Now, you could also do this with your other Stampin' Blends too, if you wanted. Let's see, we're gonna get, let me get my paper, my grid paper. And we're gonna layer these guys up here. And I'm just gonna go from like a light I mean, a dark to a light. And again, this is a great time for the brush end of your marker. You guys know I don't use the brush end very often, but this is a great use for the brush end. Now, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing about our Stampin' Blends is that, look, I can, you can layer color, but also all of the marker streaks blend together. So you're not gonna think your picture looks like you made it or your stamped image or whatever your coloring looks like you made it in kindergarten with your Crayolas. 
been there. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. Let's see, you guys, I should tell you what colors I'm using. Okay, that was 200, this is 600. Oh, you know what? Nope, we're saving that one. That one That one looks like it's gonna be dark, but it's not. We need a darker color first. Yeah, this one's good. Because we need to go from dark to light, and that one's light. All right, keep going. Make sure you protect your work surface. So you guys all gave me such great advice for my cough last week. I got the Mucinex DM. Couldn't really tell a difference. I think it's just getting better on its own. I've, I've started to cook up, um, that, what number was that? 400. I've started to cook up some, you know, horrible diagnosis <laughs> in my brain for why my cough has hung around for so long. Um, but hopefully I think we're on the way out. I, I don't know. It, it, it's weird that a cough would last this long for something that I was barely even sick. I don't know. And I loved reading through what you guys were having for dinner last week. A lot of pizza. So, um, I really like this pink one for the inside. Let's do that. I think, is that the right color? See, I should write these down. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, Friday night seems to be the night for pizza. I get pizza for my girls on Saturday night. My husband and I like to go out to eat on Saturday nights. And, you know, these teenagers, they don't want to go. And so we're like, okay, we're not going to beg you. Um, so we always order them pizza on Saturday nights. Tonight, I think we're going to go out because it feels like a Saturday night. <laughs> okay, now... The rainbow of happiness, let me show you, has these texture stamps right here. So we're gonna use three of them. We're gonna do early espresso hearts on the darkest one. Okay. I mean, you could leave it if you want, but why would you leave it when you've got these cute little texture pattern stamp sets? I don't know if you guys saw on the news, there was a, um, a piece of highway not far from here where everybody got stuck last night, kind of like it was up in the, where was that, Virginia um, recently? And I was thinking, oh, thank God I'm not stuck in that. If Now, I'm using soft suede here. If you guys drive a lot, or even if you don't, you should get the Waze app, W-A-Z-E. It will tell you when things like that happen and it will reroute you and it will give you a warning and it'll say, you don't want to go that way. You're going to be stuck overnight. <laughs> the Waze app. We do a lot of driving back and forth to Waco. My daughter's driving right now. Um, let's see. I kind of went out of order. Let's see. Do I need to clean that? It looks like I do need to clean that. Um, down I-35. And I know we've talked about this before. Those of you that live up north. I-35. Um, Maria, I'm going to come back to what you just said. I-35, I know, is just a nightmare, no matter where you live, north or south. And I, even when I was in, when I lived in Waco 25 years ago, it was a nightmare. So Maria says that's a COVID issue, the lingering cough. That's what I had. Um, but my family doesn't have a lingering cough. And then I, I have a friend. Okay, we're going to go back now to the hearts. I have a Facebook friend who's um, somebody in their family got, well, I'm not even, I'm not even going to talk about it, but it was scary, some scary, like, uh oh, let me clean that. Some scary things <laughs> after they were well in their lungs. And it scares me. Like, I wasn't even that sick. Surely I don't have major bad things happening inside. <sighs> you just never know, right? Very scary. It looks like we are improving, though, right, across the country with our numbers. Our, the word we won't say, the start of the C. Yeah, looks like our this one was a fast peak. Thank goodness. Okay, now, one thing I forgot on my clean recording. If you go back and watch it, you'll see. I forgot to stamp my sentiment after I had put everything together um, with dimensionals. And if that happens to you, it has happened to me twice. Um, use your stamparatus. 
that will help you stamp when you're not sure when you have a bumpy surface. You can go watch that video and see what I did. You Matter To Me, right there in Early Espresso. Now, let's see if I have dimensionals way back here. It is jewel, it does. Isn't it weird how it affects everyone so differently? So, so differently. That has really just kind of been the story, right? How it just really affects everyone so, so different. <sighs> All right. Now, dimensionals. This piece is the same exact size. You're not going to see it. It's just serving as a platform for us to put our, our little pieces here. And I'm going to use my liquid glue. A little, a dot is a lot. That's what we used to say in kindergarten. A dot is a lot. So I need to remember that. A, a skinny line is a lot. Because <laughs> I always go overboard with my glue. Now get your, take your pick tool guys. And it will, it will pick these up and set it right down in there. This is like that game operation. Do y'all remember operation? Where you had to fit the things in there and it would go bzz. This one won't bzz on you, but it will help you get them in there. Okay, so there's our, our multicultural rainbow, right? So fun. Now I've got something new to introduce to you. Okay, this is in the spring catalog and it is called Mother of Pearl. Can you guys see that? It's got a slick surface, okay? It's like, um, I don't know, it's really shiny and slick, but it looks kind of glittery and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can if I turn it that way. It's gorgeous. This is, you get... What do you get? Two sheets for $6 and it goes a long way. I'm using the cloud punch. It makes perfect clouds. It's shiny, but it's not, it doesn't have that rough texture uh, as our gl glimmer paper. Um, and it's not going to leave sparkles all over you. It's going to just leave all the sparkles right there on the paper. It's almost holographic kind of. Um, me too, Christine. I love it. I love it. All right, let's put those little hands right there. Isn't that cute? Making the heart. Ooh, my hands are filthy with ink. Now, the last thing I have here are two little hearts. This die set, where is it? Has a little heart right there. Perfect. I'm glad they included that. And then we'll get many dimensionals. Um, you know what, Kim? I had heard that too. It was more... It wasn't, it was more in the throat than the lungs, right? <coughs> See, every time I think about it, I, my, my lungs are like, you gotta cough. If I don't think about it, then I don't cough. It's almost mental. All right, early espresso and petal pink. And I forgot to tell you, that's the ink that I used on those last two sections, the petal pink. All right, last but not least, let's get a petal pink. I don't use petal pink very often. Oh no, look, how did that happen? Hmm. I just noticed that it was leaning up against something. It's all right, I can replace the card base. That's the easy part. All right, so it also has a heart stamp. I don't use petal pink very often. Um, it, I used to use it as my skin tone stamp and blend. And now we have way better options. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know, how would you, how would you categorize this as a pink? An orangey pink? We, um, I will, I will admit we are lacking on pink, light pinks. We need a better light pink. I don't, I would love for us to have a color refresh. There's some colors we need to refresh, if you ask me. They didn't ask me. <laughs> but if they asked me, I would say, come on, we need to, we need to shake things up. There's a few colors here that we need to replace. All right, dimensionals and done. Do you guys like that card? I think it's really sweet. I loved it. My friend Kay did it and I thought it was brilliant. So I showed you a different way to use your stamp and blends. You don't have to just color, um, you know, 
black line images. You can color cardstock. M Melly Hyde, who I've told you guys many times about her on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is Hammond and Penny. She is a she's a lead concept artist at Stampin' Up, and she uses her Stampin' Blends a lot to kind of put lines on her card bases or dots. She uses it in really creative ways. You gotta check it out. Okay, so there's that. Let me get to our second card. And I made a mistake in the recording of this one too. I left off the heart. So if you guys go back and watch it, don't forget the heart back there. All right? All right, I think we will start. Well, we need to start with our watercolor so we can give it time to dry. <coughs> We are using, okay, I don't know why I have a palette knife over here. We are using, this is um, watercolor paper. If you haven't ordered watercolor paper, you should. It's really fun. And we're going to use Coastal Cabana. Oh, I love Coastal Cabana. I've used Coastal Cabana a lot lately. I'm going to spray it with my mister, get it really nice and wet, and then I'm going to get my... Uh-oh, this looks like it still has some brown in it. Let's clean it. You know, I rinsed these in the sink yesterday, and I should not still have some color on it. I use these for my cards, my class cards for next month. All right, we're going to pick some of that up, and we're just going to drop that ink on here like that. Now, ideally, I'm going to let it dry, and then I would do another layer of ink. That's how you get a, those darker colors. See how there's light and then the darker. Um, this one, I just did one layer. So it depends on how much color you want on there. You know what, let's do two. I'm gonna dry it real quick. You can use your heat tool. You get two different looks. If you use your heat tool and if you let it dry on its own. Two different looks. All right, let's dry that. Okay. And then, oh look, I brought, I forgot I had this. And then we'll add some more. Let's get it wet again. And let's drop some ink. Like that, I just kind of dab, 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 dab like that. Spread it around. You could add some more water if you want. Make it drippy. Let's make it drippy go down a little bit like that. I like when that happens. Okay, let's set that aside to dry. Water painters are fun. You've got to make sure you've got that loose so that the air can push through there. I've made a mess. Let's get all this cleaned up because I will ruin a card probably if I don't. Comments are disappearing. Pink Pirouette, oh my gosh, me too. Pink Pirouette was one of my faves. All right, this time we're going to stamp this little hand image where they're like doing Pinky Promise, which is really cute. And I'm going to stamp it low because I've also got to stamp my sentiment up there at the top. Let's do that while we have our ink here. I think you're wonderful. Now, I strayed from the stamp set with this sentiment. Let me show you the one that I'm using. It's a celebration stamp set. It has a ton of words. It's called Special Moments. I actually didn't even see it in the catalog until a friend had used it. <laughs> So it's free with a $100 purchase, this one. Um, it's a little more pricier than the others. Okay, let's go, let's do the dark, dark color this time. Um, I'm gonna use, again, my brush end. And I'm gonna just flick that ink around. Another thing you can do here is use the color lifter to give variation in the color. Um, if you're like me and you're heavy handed and you add too much color, that can really, um, help you get that, that shading. I'm all joking at that. 
All right, so there, oops, let's get the pinky. And then I'm gonna come back with my color lifter. And I'm just gonna kind of bleed those over to the edge. Okay, a little bit like that. And I think we'd have a little more light there. And then you can add a little bit of that there to add some light. And I've got to add that curve in the wrist there and a little more line down like that. All right, so there's that one. I know you guys can barely see it. And then we'll do, have we done this one? Did we do this one last time? I can't, where'd my card go? I don't think we did. Mm, yeah, we did. That does look like the one we did. Did we do this one? That's really pink. All right, let's do that one. All right. These take, I think, I think some practice um, on the skin. One thing you can do also, which is what my mom and I did, is pull up a picture of a hand and see where the lines are. And that will help you kind of put in, you know, because especially on this side of your hand, there's lines, there's lines here. Um, there's a paper in there that have all the raised hands. So you'll want to look at it for that. And you can just kind of put little flicks of ink there for those. How about we use this little guy today? Have both of them sitting here. These plates aren't as fancy and clean as the others. Um, uh, Sharon, you're asking me about a thank you card, Sharon. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. When did you mail it? I'm, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. All right. The dye I'm using, where did it go? This dye is from the potted succulent dyes. We'll put that right there. Okay. Uh oh. And we'll put this through here. Hey, you guys, the magnetic platform is coming back. They have told us it's coming. They're working through the. Um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, quality control of it, but they said they've got it and it should be in the next catalog, yay. And there will be a magnetic platform for the little guy and for the big guy, which I'm gonna need again here too, because we're gonna emboss. So hooray on that, right? Boy, I have missed the magnetic platform. Okay, so now we're gonna emboss and the question is, where did I put plate for? Here it is. Why is it over here? This embossing folder is a fantastic one. It's called the Hive 3D embossing folder. And I'm gonna emboss the front of my card with it. And when you do these 3Ds, you just use plate one and plate four. All right, we'll run it through. Isn't that cool? I love it. Move this guy back over here. Now, let me show you the paper. This is the paper called Here Together, All Together. It is part of this product suite or product collection and you will, you will not find it in the catalog. Remember, you're only gonna find it online. It's all black and white print. Did I show you guys? I did, right? So you have hands that you can color, but then you have a bazillion, that's a number, bazillion. You have a bazillion black and white patterns that you're gonna see me use <laughs> a lot. Um, this one is really cute too. You can practice coloring. Look, here's a rainbow you can color. This Stamina Up is getting really clever with their papers. Love it. All right, I'm gonna put that that way. We're gonna put a piece of the paper here. Now, if you get the make and take kit for me, your paper patterns might be different. Remember, there's only four sheets per pack. Um, but they will all work, that's the thing. They're all black and white. They will all work. 
All right, let's put this one. This one's got little hearts. This is also this little this little heart one. Okay, that is not straight. Um, it's so hard because these stripes are wavy. They're not straight, and it throws my eyes off. It's very hard for me to tell when it's straight. This paper right here with the little polka dots makes a cute um, ladybug body. You know, the body part of the ladybug. It's really cute. All right, let's trim that off. Now, once again, my favorite twine is making an appearance. The Playful Pets twine. And I'm going to wrap this around two or three times. Let's see how many times we can get around here, how much I have left. Two. Okay, it's going to have to be two. <laughs> it's going to have to be two. We're going to tie it right here. Now, I normally put the fold of my card up at the top. And the reason I do that, honestly, is because cards photograph better that way. Um, that's why I started it, making my card fold at the top 10 years ago when I started, you know, photographing my pro projects. But sometimes you have to have the fold on the side like this. You wouldn't be able to wrap the twine like this if the fold was at the top. You could wrap it around the other way if you want. Okay, let's see. This is somewhat dry. Let's Let's finish it up with a little bit of a heat tool. You can also use our shimmer white paper. That will work um, with the watercoloring. Don't try to use our regular white though. It does not work with the uh, water. It pills, you know, it gets all pilly. I, okay, now here, if you go back and watch the clean recording, you're gonna think, what the heck, she forgot the heart. I did, totally forgot the heart. Don't forget the heart. It is the basic white heart from um, the uh, bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder. That's what it says in the catalog, but there are also dies that go with it. All right, we're gonna put that right there. And then if I did not lose my sentiment, here it is. We'll get some many dimensionals here. Thank you, Donna. You're so sweet. I, uh, ha I, this week, you guys, has been a really weird week. Usually, I don't have a lot of time to create, which is frustrating because it's my favorite part. Usually, I'm, you know, I, there's a lot of computer work involved in this job that I'm cutting, packing, mailing, shipping, blah, 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 all that. This week, for some reason, the whole week, I was able to create pretty much all day, every day. I am so far ahead. Um, I've got all of Facebook Friday's projects planned through like spring break. I got next month's class done, next month's club. I got these projects done. It was, it was a really good week. Sometimes that doesn't happen. A lot of times that doesn't happen, but this week it did. Okay. What do you guys think? That's it. Do you like Coastal Cabana in the black and white? If you don't, of course, change the color. All you would have to do is change Everything else can stay the same. You could do yellow would be really cute. This petal pink would be cute. Um, white, just a regular white card stock would be cute. Of course, polished pink would be cute. Um, but you could change the color. All right, there you have it. Okay, we've got one more card left. Let me clean up just a little bit. And then, oh, 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 wait, 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 there's more. I forgot the butterflies. Have you guys seen these? These gorgeous butterflies. I forgot I put these on there. Let's see, that one is stuck up here. Will it come off? I don't know how that happened, but I don't want to waste it. Let's put a couple of butterflies like that. There we go. Now we're finished. The butterflies are a fun touch. All right, one project left, and I think I'll be done. 315. And then I've got a stack of things to show you. Don't let me forget to show you these. Okay, this time we're not going to use the stamp and blends, but we're going to use the other components from this. There are these dies. <coughs> Hold on, let me get a drink of water. Okay, the silence. Um, there are these dies. Um, this one says you matter. 
This one says here for you. So I wanted to showcase the, these dies because they're really cool. And that's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna use that pearlescent paper. All right, let's see where all my pieces are. Um, I think what we'll do, let's start putting our card together and then we'll do our die cutting. This one, this card's pretty easy. We're gonna do just a tiny bit of heat embossing on the inside, but the rest of it is pretty straightforward. I've got a piece of this black and white paper. We're gonna put that down at the bottom. I've got a stitch scallop border, which is from the penned flowers. Let's go up a little bit higher. The penned flower dies. All right, and we will find scissors and snip that off. I like to make things a little bit longer because if not, then they're always a little bit too short. <laughs> always. Now, oh look, a return of my favorite again. I feel like I use this and that black and white twine every single week because they're my favorite. All right, we're gonna put just a little bit of tear and tape right here across the top. And we will use this to take this off and put a little bit of my favorite black and white gingham ribbon right there. I mean, how cute are those three things together? I love that pattern. I think that's my favorite. Well, yeah, I think that's my favorite pattern in the pack. I like those polka dots too. All right, now here's another piece of that pearlescent paper. And you know what? I put measurements on the PDF and I meant to double check. Let me double check real quick because I typed those up three and three fourths by four. I think that's what I put, maybe three and a half, but that would work too. All right, let's do dimensionals, four dimensionals. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate it, you guys, all of you who shared. Thank you. All right, a little bit of pearlescent right there. Okay, now let's cut the word. And you know what? What happened to my adhesive sheets? I have them out, and then I used them, and then did I put them away? Okay, hold on. Let me get them. I've got a lot of adhesive sheets, luckily. To cut these words out, to adhere them easily and not make a giant mess, I highly recommend you use our adhesive sheets. Oops, I got two. Um, let's see, I'm gonna cut, let's do like this. All right, and I'm gonna stick these on here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space right there. That's gonna help me pull the word, um, pull the backing off the word. All right, let's bring this back over. We need our regular plates. And we'll get the U matter. Make sure I'm doing it on the right side, right there. Oh, no, hold on. Everything is slip sliding around. I think I'll go back because it's two layers, remember? Got that adhesive sheet on the back. Now, you can be like me and forget to do this part. Or you can be smart and get your dye brush attachment and Try to separate these as much as you can. Now, because of that adhesive sheet in there, they're not gonna come off as easily as they normally would. All right, now it looks like we've got them. All right, I think we got almost all of them. Now, the trick here is to <laughs> throw it down at the right speed and it'll just pop out. Now, see how, remember how I left that separation between the two adhesive sheets, that's because that helps you get this off. You don't have to try to pick it on the end and it's super hard. This will leave you a space. And if you don't have nails, you'll have an easier time. All right, let's get all of this picked off. This is satisfying, as the kids say, so satisfying. All right, let's bring our card back over. 
You matter. Now we're gonna stamp to me on the inside. All right, and I don't have my Taylor Tag Punch yet here either. So let me grab that because we're gonna need that. Man, I don't have a lot of things. Hmm, I don't have my black dots either. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, my Taylor Tag Punch. Where is it? Right here. I had a black dot originally on the heart. You'll see it in the picture, but it fell off. <laughs> it fell off and who knows where it is. Um, but I was gonna put one on here and now I don't know where my black dots are. All right, so two banners. One is an inch, about an inch and two. I'm gonna shorten that just a little bit. One by two like that that right there and then this one's going to need to be shortened a little bit this is a half inch by about an inch maybe one and a fourth we'll put that right there and then I cut out a um polished pink polished pink dimensionals where are you um heart and we'll put that right there like that and a bow, we need a bow. Polished pink ribbon, again, the Stampin' Up saves the day with all of the coordination. Everything coordinates. We don't have to worry about pinks not matching. Polished pink paper, polished pink Stampin' Blends, polished pink ribbon, they all match. And like that, and we will get a glue dot. Boy, have I not used glue dots at all today? And we will take that and put that right there. Now, you could leave it like that and be done, right? But it is a black card base, so we need to put a white um, insert in so you can write. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of embossing too. I've gotta clean this. This is the same stamp we used on the first project. You matter and we're just gonna stamp that to me so you're gonna want to mask it off with post-it note or post-it tape or you can be a rebel like me and just try to get it on the edge let's see if I can do it got a little bit right there and a little bit right there but I think I got it all right white craft ink what the heck, man, my embossing powder is gone too? See, I used all of this yesterday for projects and I pulled it all off. Is it seriously not sitting here? Oh, I dropped it, here it is. I was gonna say, I know I saw that. I dropped it, thank goodness it was locked because otherwise we would have had a big mess right before I went live. All right, oh, well, that made a mess. I had powder on my fingers. Let's just use a paintbrush to get it all off. All right, heat tool once more. I use mine, Trisha, too. The, the pointy thing on the take your pick tool for the adhesive sheets, that does help. Yes, you're right. And your, your um, um, you know, the scissors, <laughs> you know, the scissors, paper snips is what we call them. Okay, now, you can use your trimmer for this, but I'm just gonna be a rebel again and use my scissors, and we're just gonna cut out, let's cut this off. I'm just gonna cut off that to me, like that. There we go, we've got a tiny to me, because remember, the front says, you matter. And now we will get polished pink ink, and we'll stamp that little heart right there. And I've got a polished pink Stampin' Blend right here. And we'll color that in. Polished pink is by far my favorite pink these days. And one more little mini dimensional. I've used a lot of minis today. We'll put that right there. It's not sticking because the ink is not dry. What the heck? What the heck, man? Let's just stick it to here. This would be a good place for the black 
mini dimensionals right there. See that? So cute. I love when the inside of a card is done. It's fancy. And right there. And there you have it. All right, so that card doesn't use the, the Stampin' Blends, but it does use the bundle and the paper. Now I have a few more things to show you. On Monday, this will be up on my blog. I use, this is the paper, the designer series paper, see the back? And colored it with all the different Stampin' Blends that we have rainbow paper and then these are make and takes for my team meeting this month we're gonna look at this one the rainbow with the hearts so there's lots of different ways to use these isn't aren't those cute so now you've got lots of ideas you can order this bundle actually let me show you that paper right here um when you click the link from my blog that takes you over to the All Together products, they're all listed there. You can buy them individually. You can buy these, buy the twos, or you can buy the whole set, 10, not 12. <laughs> and you can buy the paper by itself. You can buy the stamps and the dies, or you can do one click and buy all of it together. It's $105 for the bundle, the paper, and the stamp and blends. Um, you don't save when you do it that way. It's just easy, you know, because it's one click. You do save if you buy the stamps and the dies together. You always save 10% on a bundle. Okay, you guys, that's it. Let's take a look at them. I always love to look at them all together. Um, remember, if you would like these projects for free, the make and takes, um, get your orders in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be this stuff, but you will need the, the bundle to create <coughs> to create the um, projects. Um, make sure you use the host code. All orders over $35. We'll get these free in the mail um, from me. I ship them on Wednesdays. And what else? I don't know. I guess that's it. Next week, what are we doing next week? The gumball machine. Gumball greetings. It's so cute. So we'll do that next week. Um, I've got some other things planned in between now and then. Um, and I think that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My camera is all kinds of messed up. Let's see if I can, or we're going to just be on live all night. All right. I think I got it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.